And so as you see, the fences have gone up, my friends, and work has begun on the Adventure Africa expansion. We are back for a fresh episode of our City Zoo build, Tropical Wings Zoo. So what we're going to do in today's episode is I'm basically going to answer some of the questions that you guys were throwing my way um, during the course of the Primates of Africa episode. I will link that above my friends. I basically rebuilt Adventure Africa. A lot of you uh, got involved in the comments. You've dropped likes on the video. You all really seem to uh, like it and appreciate it. And I want to thank everyone for taking the time to watch that episode. I had a lot of fun obviously building that and bringing it up to standard. And we're now going to be moving over into Adventure Africa. Africa. Let's talk about Adventure Africa. Um, it's essentially going to be split into three parts. You're going to have the initial part of Adventure Africa uh, when you first walk in and you kind of move up um, to where the um, bat house is. And then from there, we're going to split it into another two parts. We're going to have Predators of the Serengeti and then we're going to have Safari Sunrise. Those are going to be the two areas. And then once you finish Safari Sunrise, you're going to uh, be able to enter the next tunnel that's going to take you down and under and when you come out the other side of the tunnel you're going to be into Asia and you're going to be near the elephants and you're also going to be near the reptile house that isn't really going to be part of into Asia but it's the only real space that I've got to kind of place that so that's kind of just so you can build up that image in your head. So first and foremost let's talk about the animal list because I think the animal list is really really important where this is concerned. Um, we've still got plenty of animals to do in the project as you're going to see from the entire animal list there and also before we talk about the African expansion let me just highlight the animals that have been added to the list from the grasslands pack as you're going to see some of the animals included in this are actually going to be used in the Adventure Africa expansion which is going to be really really exciting these are the last animals I'm adding to the project, bar potentially one or two that I'm going to actually throw out towards you guys today as an option that we could potentially add into Adventure Africa. I've got um, a very, um, I've got a couple of ideas basically at what we're going to do with the uh, existing hyena habitat, and then there's also one that I might potentially add to the. Um, Predators of the Serengeti if you think it's needed because believe it or not for both the Predators of the Serengeti and the Safari Sunrise we don't have a lot of animals my friends so uh, it, it's it's quite surprising really to be honest so uh, that's the they're the animals that have been added uh, to the list um, I'm really happy with all those choices I am considering potentially knocking the red kangaroo on the head and just using the wallaby um, because I've only ever seen wallabies in UK zoos and that's kind of what this is I'm I'm not saying that that is just the case but that's something I am considering doing um, and uh, yeah but I'm really really happy with those choices and I really feel they add to um, some areas uh, in the project but that's it we're not adding any more animals to this list if any more DLCs are um, you know uh, do come out during the course of the completion of this zoo they won't be added to this one maybe they'll be added to, uh, to do it better or even potentially added to the new community series that's going to be starting in the next month or so um, so the next thing we need to to highlight my friends are the uh, sort of animals that are in the Adventure Africa area. I'm going to highlight every single one of them even those that we've already built for. Um, these are all the animals that are going to go in this area. I will now highlight the ones that we already have in Adventure Africa. Uh, as you're going to see, we have done quite a few already. The hyenas on that list are actually going to be moving over to the predators of the Serengeti. So what I will do now is I will highlight all of the predators of the Serengeti. Those are all going to be going into that area, my friend. Uh, the, the reason I kind of mentioned that we might potentially add one is there's actually not too many are there, to be to be honest. It doesn't actually matter to me that there's not that many um, because this is basically going to be the first section of like the second part of um, Adventure Africa anyway um, but I'm potentially considering adding the cheetah to the list um, as well just because I think it might add something different but then it really depends on space and uh, um, it's one that uh, I think we can get away with it if we don't add the cheetah anyway and then as far as Safari Sunrise is concerned I will now highlight all of those animals so you can get a good idea of all the animals that are going to be in Safari Sunrise. So uh, that's it, my friends. That's pretty much the animals. That's how they're going to work. So we will now take the animals off screen and let me kind of loosely talk you through the plan for Adventure 
Africa. Um, so, first and foremost, something I do want to do and kind of bring it to your attention as uh, the game as a, a little moment uh, is that I have already started work uh, on the tunnels. I, I did say this was all going to be included and this all needed to be redone. Uh, I've basically been doing all these fences again. As you know, I'm, I'm basically going over the entirety of what I've already built and basically rebuilding a lot of it from the ground up. But I have redone all these fences um, already. I'm really kind of trying to make this staff area make a bit more sense to be honest with you um we've got a low fence over here we've got an emergency exit here now as well because that was something i said i was going to add a lot in around the perimeter of the zoo and i never did so we do have one of those uh, now, so you can walk up that way. These um, railings are a lot higher than they need to be. I've done it on purpose just because of the nature of that drop. It is quite the drop, to be honest with you, gang. Um, but yeah, I've basically already started um, kind of getting to grips with kind of how I want this to look. I've started using this like limestone, got this color that I'm absolutely in love with. And yeah, I feel like the design's really, really coming along. Uh, the way I was kind of looking at it was we've got a lot of um, sort of these subway, they're called subways over here in the UK. Essentially, they're walking paths that go under roads and whatnot. And um, I, we've, we've got a lot of them, especially in and around London. I kind of see these as kind of like retired subway paths and the zoo kind of used them. And, uh, you know, we've we've kind of decorated it in quite, a, quite an old style. But I think it looks really, really nice already and i've made it i've, I've really like tucked the walls in i've tried to make it a bit more intimate i've made this a bit lower it was really big like when you see the other side it's crazy how much like space and stuff there was and just how big it was and it just didn't need to be that way um so yeah i have already started this gang but anyway you're not interested in that you're interested in what we're going to be doing with, with adventure africa but look let me just spin this around just so you can see Look, that's what it used to look like. It's a right mess, isn't it? it? Really is a right mess. Anyway, so the Adventure Africa expansion. Let's say a, uh, a good look at it, and we'll take, um, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it a, a fair amount. So that's what we've got so far, uh, where Adventure Africa is concerned. Um, I. I was pretty happy with it when I was building it, but it was such a long time ago. And since then, I've had so many new ideas and I feel like my um, ability to scale things down in this game has really come on a level. Um, my planting's definitely gone up. I think my detailing's definitely gone up. And I think because of that, I look at some of the stuff in here and I'm just not happy with it. And one of the big reasons why I not only want to add to Adventure Africa and get it finished, um, and I want to basically revamp everything, is is for that reason. I'm I'm just not really, um, I'm just really not that into it anymore. I don't mind the Bat House because that was built pretty recently to be fair it wasn't built long ago at all uh, there's a little bit of detailing that needs doing uh, in a couple of places that i'm not happy with but other than that i'm pretty happy with the uh, with that with that um with that building so um i'm, I'm literally going to leave that and just finish off the bits that i want to finish but as far as the rest of it is concerned uh, it is a bit of a hot mess and i really really go want to go to town on the whole thing so first and foremost the what the first thing i want to talk to you guys about is that of the hyena habitat um it's pretty much the first animal that you're greeted with other than the meerkats when you come into adventure africa they kind of um sit opposite one another um i really really like the hyena habitat when i first did it i really really like the whole rock formation and whatnot and i probably will try and replicate this uh, as and when i move the hyenas um but they are going to be moved from here they're not going to stay in this exhibit but what I do want to do is I want to try and reuse this exhibit to the best of my ability. Now, I mentioned that I potentially might put the pygmy hippos in here, and I was left a couple of comments like, they're a bit more tropical, I don't really feel that they kind of fit the vibe. What First thing I do want to say is, there isn't really a vibe, it's just really, the, the whole vibe is going to change. It isn't going to stay this like desert-y kind of feel. That wasn't actually my intention, but it kind of just went in that direction. But this is all going to change. We are going to like keep with the theme in a bit, but um, you know they could go in there because we. I am going to be redoing this. If there's going to be some slight theme changes, um, but if you still honestly, if you on, if you all really feel strongly about them potentially not feeling that um, sort of at home in this area, I will take it on board because you know I I think it, it it's definitely helpful when people that are not building and they're from the outside looking in give you that constructive criticism because you 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 obviously go into everything with blinkers on don't you so um yeah it's really difficult but you know if, if that is the case i do have a plan b 
um, and I might potentially just put a small herd of Horix in here. Uh, they're not on the animal list, the same as the cheetahs weren't. And the reason I didn't put them on there is because I wanted to kind of float those ideas by you guys before I added them. But um, you might be looking at that and thinking it's not really that big. It's maybe not big enough for the oryx. But what you need to realise is there's quite a bit of space back here uh, in the um, backstage area, which, to be honest with you, could could be revamped. It's really, really not an issue. You know, I don't mind doing backlot areas. That could be revamped. So we could push back a little bit more um, to maybe, you know, stick the stable back here, be a bit closer to these buildings or whatever, but we could stick the stable back here. So even bring it and extend it out a bit further. Um, we would probably get rid of all the glass and whatnot like if we did do this anyway um we would probably push this down a bit and we do have a bit of space back here as well we do have this pathway that our um that our staff use but to be fair i'm using the four meter path there i could i i know the trick where we can use the thinner path so we could just use some thinner dirt path back there so there is a bit of room we can play with um to potentially put the oryx in here uh, but if not, I, I really feel like the Pygmy Hippo, this might be the perfect place for them. Uh, you might think they need a lot of room, but they really, really don't. They don't need a lot of room at all. And I think this would be a perfect amount of space for the Pygmy Hippos. As far as repurposing any of this stuff, the um, Hyena uh, house is going to be kept. I am going to basically... So I have already kind of separated all the pieces and stuck them together and save that. Um, it needs a bit of updating inside and whatnot, but um, I'd be happy to do it. We're going to take that with us and we're going to put that over here in the Predators of Serengeti. And then as far as the other Habs kind of at this part are concerned... Um, they're not going to change much. They're all going to get an update. Um, all the buildings are going to get a good update on the insides especially. Um, I might change the design on the outside as well. I'm not really too keen on the way they look, to be honest with you. Um, and then all of the Habs are going to get like an update. I'm not going to change the size of the Aardvark and the Meerkat. I actually don't mind it at all. Um, but what I would say is that there was potential for me to... Uh, separate the aardvark and the meerkat and just give them their own habs potentially just because i think we're actually going to be freeing up a lot of room uh gang i really really feel like we are going to be freeing up a lot of room and another option was to potentially rather than add the cheetah move the fennec fox into the predators of the serengeti area and to kind of have them as like one of the first animals and then i was going to move the aardvarks over here in a smaller hab and then have their indoor room as like a dark room because we've kind of it's next to the um bats and stuff anyway so that's that was another option i was considering and then just having the meerkats over here on their own but rather than giving them all of this here um, i was gonna literally like make this a lot smaller like towards kind of like the front um here um and then uh, i was gonna bring the warthog hab around and stick a, a body of water and then make it look like the warthogs and the uh and the um, meerkats were together but i still wanted this little underground tunnel because i think it's kind of cool i think it's a nice little addition to the uh to the hab and if i did pull that forward then we might have a bit of space round here for like another bit of viewing and then even like a little shop or something over here, like a little gift shop or or whatever or maybe like a little balloon stand or something like that. We'd have to really, really reorganise this. I'd probably have to delete all the building out and whatever. I really don't mind about how much work I make for myself either. This is all about making the build the best it can be. Um, but yeah, if I did separate the two animals, I would probably move the aardvark into here the fennec fox would go over to here um and then the meerkats would be on their own we'd make this smaller we'd make this smaller for the aardvarks um the hyenas would then move over that would free up an area for either the oryx or the um pygmy hippos they would stay put pretty much not really going to do much to their have either like they, it's pretty nailed on uh, you know that that's pretty much going to stay the same we might just change the plant in a little bit um that's going to stay where that is it will wrap round onto the back of the meerkats that will become like a cool little uh habitat and then we will have the um uh, these bad boys the gembok they're not going to move we're just going to redo all the planting and we're going to redo the inside of the building and then as far as the safari lodge restaurants concerned that's getting leveled and we're going to rebuild it i i've said for ages now in a lot of videos 
I'm just not happy with it, gang. I really, really am not happy with it. I haven't liked it for a long time. And uh, the more I look at it, the more I just ugh, can't stand it. I really love the way this looks, but it's just the rest of it. It's just, I don't really like the way the roof came out. The back's just way too high. I was trying to accommodate the toilets, and then, I, and then I changed it, and I did this, didn't I, to try and make it look better. And I've just never been happy with it. Just never been happy with the shape and the way it all kind of, there's no continuity with it. It just feels weird basically um and then obviously we'll come up this way all of the paths and planting obviously that's all going to get redone gang it's just how it is but yeah this is the only one that's this this one here really is the only one that's safe that isn't going to get like to change too much like the planting basically is probably all that's going to get changed and then we're going to work our way up this way like i say this isn't going to get changed much um and then yeah, we're going to work our way into Predators of the Serengeti is going to be first. So that's going to be that's going to be part like building part um sort of outside walk through kind of deal. Um I feel like the Caracal, I've got this idea that I want to do like an internal kind of deal. They they're really difficult from what I've seen for the zoos. They they really struggle to keep them contained um unless they kind of net over the top. They they, they can jump an extraordinary height. Um, and they're quite a difficult animal to to keep basically. Um and so because of the mixtures and I think the fennet fox do better indoors as well in certain situations and so I think there's a need to have some really cool interactive like indoor stuff viewing areas and things like that as well as some big yards outdoor areas for things like your lions and your wild dogs for instance so i think there's a call for a really good mix of kind of internal in internal stuff and out and outdoor stuff um, and that's going to essentially it's going to start about here and it's going to work kind of to come around this way it's going to be a bit windy a bit of a windy path and whatever and the the plan is to kind of wrap this around and then it's going to meet a kind of center point um where um there's going to be a big viewing area and, it, and there's going to be a building on it it's going to be all, almost treat it like a roundabout and there's going to be a circular building there and inside is going to be like a discovery center where it's going to be loads of education about africa you know from the animals to poaching to uh, efforts to reintroduce animals you know like the oryx for instance um you know um the work that we're doing to basically sustain the animals in Africa and talking about the plight of them and why that why some animals are struggling and whatnot. It's going to be a big like kind of little discovery centre there on like a, a circle part. And then from there, you're going to exit and then that's where the big kind of sunrise safari is going to be kind of over in this direction, kind of over here, basically. I'm really undecided if I'm going to go up or under because there's probably going to be a point where I am going to have to go up on up or under the actual hab probably under because we're going to have giraffes in there you'd have to have an extraordinarily high bridge because of the giraffes going under so um we might have to tunnel down again um I really wanted to avoid uh, doing that, but I think it's just one of those things we're not going to be able to avoid I really want to try and get you know, the path to work in a, in a way as well, where we're going to have some viewing areas where we might be able to potentially see the lions off in the dis distance or the wild dogs or something along those things. We get that predator-prey kind of interaction as well. And then, yeah, it's going to wrap around, my friends. I'm, I'm hopefully going to finish with, a you know, like a little kind of shop uh, over here um like an adventure africa gift shop type deal um i think would be really really cool to kind of cap the experience off and then like i say you're going to come down under this tunnel and this is where obviously the elephants are going and then along here it's going to be quite a big old building along there is where the reptile house is going basically so that's going to be the next kind of thing that you're going to get um after you exit adventure africa but that's sort of the the loose plan that is really the loose plan so you know let me know what you think about you know my potential ideas to move the fennet fox into the predators uh i know they're they're not like the trouble is they're not pretty they're not in the serengeti that's the thing they're um they're a north african species aren't they and so they don't really fit the the brief um but i think that maybe we could add them we, we could just move them so they're just before but because obviously they are a predator then it kind of works um you know i hope people have kind of stuck with the video and stayed around to watch that because obviously if they haven't then it wouldn't have made sense to them would it um 
uh, what I've said there. But yeah, I might move them, maybe move in the aardvarks. Let me know your, your feelings on that and my changes to these. And the big one is, you know, let me know if you think, you know, it would be better to add the oryx in a um, you know, in a in a hab over here, or if you think it would be, you know, wise to kind of maybe put the pygmy hippos uh, in this section, I'd really really appreciate the the feedback because it really helps me with my planning and whatnot. Because this is the big thing we're probably going to be do doing over the next few episodes. I would imagine is really like ripping this apart like to absolute pieces. Um, uh, you know, getting all this tied up and then moving on up here. The other thing as well, and I nearly, nearly forgot to talk about this, is the uh, African penguins. Now, they don't really fit, obviously, in the predators. They don't really fit in the Sunrise Safari, but um, I've, all, I've said for a long time that they're probably going to go here, gang, just because we've got this ready-made bloody viewing section here. Um, my idea is to have stairs going up that way and up that way. Um, and then having like a viewing window where when you come out, you're going to see the penguins all like swimming about, but you're going to be able to go up uh, this direction. Uh, this this way over here is where the seated area is going to be uh, for the penguin talk, and you're going to be able to exit it uh, out the back this route. And this way, uh, you're going to be able to come up, and there's going to be like a, a viewing area kind of around this side, but really this is more an exit to come up and then go into Predators and Serengeti, really. But there will be a viewing area. But the penguins are probably going to kind of wrap around kind of in this uh, section here. Um, I want to try to make a use of this space because... If I don't do that, if I don't do this here, th this space is just going to end up being a bit of a nothing area, to be honest with you. So, yeah, the penguins were always going to kind of go in here after I'd uh, after I'd done all this. So, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work. Um, but I think it's worth that's going to be work that's going to be really worth it. I think that it's going to be a really cool area when it's done. You know, I think if you if you're taking, I know it's uh, it seems like absolutely nothing, but if you're taking a look at the work that I've done already, um, with kind of like the beginnings of it, you know, really tidying all this up and like, um, you know, bringing this this the the way this looks like up to stand and whatever. You can see the direction I'm going. You can see the improvements that have been made. And um, I'm just really buzzing to get going, to be honest. But I just wanted to release this video. I wanted you to, to talk you through the plans. I wanted to, you know, highlight the animals that are going to go in here um, for those that, you know, are not on the Discord and whatever. And uh, just give you your chance as well to kind of have your say in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know your opinions. And if you've got any ideas, to let me know them as well. And so there you go, my friends. We are done and dusted for this video. I wanted it to be a bit shorter than this, um, but uh, it was a lot to talk about where the Adventure Africa build is concerned. I'm not going to keep you any longer, though. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. Drop a like on it if you've enjoyed it. And like I've already said a million times today, get involved in that comment section below. But until next time, stay safe, stay humble. I'll see you all real soon.